この世界を救う光栄に思え肉塊ベツレヘムの星はなぜこれほど巨大にしなければならなかった Hey guys, it's me again. I'm going to be talking about is Fiamma on the planetary? It's only common to see around on threads versus wiki YouTube videos that they mostly have Fiamma planetary. I'm just going to dissect most of the arguments and give my thoughts and reasons to why I disagree. I hope this can be a very comprehensive video and something you can refer to when looking back for your Fiamma arguments. Something to note is that all my arguments are actual comments I've seen in forums or text debates I've had. Just to avoid me storming anyone. Though first, I guess I should clarify what I mean by planet level. As, well as, we, as first as we can define it, on their tiering system, it is characters who can create and or destroy a planet. With the energy required to be at this level, being around 2.5 times 10 to the power 32, to around 1.1 times 10 to the power 34 joules. To start off, the main argument for Fiamma being planetary is the fact that it stated his attack could turn a planet to dust. A statement of turning a planet to dust heavily implies vaporization. And vaporizing a planet scales to you guessed it, planet level. This is the main crux of their argument, for the most part. Now to get onto their argument for why he can't be any higher. People will argue that the attack he sent out was Fiamma Strong's attack, and he can't be any higher. From what I can tell, this is them stated. The word strongest throughout all of Old Testament 22 is mostly used in reference to Accelerator being the strongest Esper, and the only time strongest ever used for Fiamma is when Tomo is calling out his doubts about truly being able to save the world, and saying if he was the strongest, why did he have so many precautions? Even words similar to strongest, like the word greatest, is used several times, but only two actually refer to Fiamma, though they're just stating Fiamma was the possessor of the greatest power, and narration calling the holy right Fiamma's greatest weapon. Even other words that can be used in place of strongest are not used at all, such as unrivaled, unparalleled, ultimate, and so on. Maybe it's stated in the Empress editions? It doesn't make sense for Fiamma to use the strongest attack, but just common sense wise, why would he use his best attack on Tomo? From his knowledge, he's just an average guy without his imagine breaker. It wouldn't really make any sense from his perspective. The statement is also accompanied with the lines, it would be strange if he couldn't when referring to destroying a planet, heavily implying this is something he can do at bare minimum and it's not him going all out. Even if he were to just steal Magnus' point of it being Fiamma's strongest attack, and give it the benefit of the doubt, it still wouldn't be just planetary. The statement it mentions also says powerful enough to replicate any legend in, the, any legend in Christianity, and literally the first statement in the Bible is called creating heaven and earth. Heaven and Tuaru is completely a phase, and phases in Tuaru are stated to layer over the universe, as there are lenses that influence the world. This would be enough to qualify Fiamma as universal, which is stated to be able to create, or significantly affect a universe of comparable size, which does not involve disruption and or creation of space-time. Some also like to argue that if Fiamma was stronger, it would be stated. This is blatantly incorrect, as the whole point of power scaling is to gauge character strength, because 9 times out of 10, the author just won't blatantly state it. This is why you take things such as feats, lore, and character scaling into account. Not just relying on statements, or else you would not be able to scale the character into a versus wiki algorithm. Things such as Death of the Author exist. To explain that, in simple terms, if what the author wrote contradicts what the author intended, then we take what the author wrote instead, as his input is out of the hands of the individual piece of work. If an author comes out and says X character is war level, we have multiple feats of X character destroying mountains, and we take what's actually written in the story. Even without all this, the ambush just blatantly has statements that put him above the level of planet, as I guessed earlier. Him being able to recreate any legend of the Bible would lead him to be universal, uh, with Fiamma being said to have power equivalent to the Son of God, and as directly stated in index, God is the greatest being. Limiting the statement just to within the context of Christianity, this, this means Fiamma could scale above Gabriel and the other archangels, who just blatantly say to have enough power to destroy the world. World and entity means universe, but if you disagree with it, meaning that in that case, you can just argue Fiamma would scale above, above Astro in hand which can affect all the stars in the universe, which would be multi-galaxy level. To put it simply, when you consider the law of Fiamma, of being as the power of God, and has reached one of the highest levels in the magic side, with the power stated to be a manifestation of all the power of the right hand of Christianity, him being recruited by Oloris, that push back at is even thematically, is meant to be a representation of the era of Osiris, as his defeat makes way for NT, the era of Christianity being over, why would it make any sense for Fiamma to just be planetary? It comes up as horrendous downplay to me. But anyway, guys, that's the video. What are you guys' thoughts on the topics? If you want to talk or discuss with me or you have any problems with what I said, I'm always free and down to debate on Discord, but only VC though.
Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.